Forza Thrill, George Shifton here for Horns Up Rocks outside of Billy Hurricane after his benefit. And I think it was a beautiful day because all of us came together because you've been representing this heart and you were one of the guys that I saw and I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep that torch going in a different sense of ways. You do it through your like work, through your different events, which we're going to get into. I do it through my writing, through my like expressing the word out there of everybody who's out there. And Tommy, obviously we're here today because you needed all of us and we stepped up to the plate because you are one of those motherfuckers that has given so much and it's so cool and I know you were very appreciative today at Santos to see all the people there for you for such an awesome cause. Yeah, man. Uh, it's uh, It was a pretty crazy day, man. You know, it's uh, it really is like, you know, this whole benefit show and, you know, like when I was in the hospital and, and when Rhea and Doc uh, came and told me like they were going to throw this, like it didn't even seem real. It still doesn't even seem real. But, you know, it's like the whole fact that, you know, something, you know, as is, is kind of as hard that I had to go through with, you know, that kind of violence and like getting getting through it and not only just physical therapy, but therapy, therapy. And then, you know, this whole thing has really been like a beacon of hope you know through the whole thing and it kind of just helped me you know kind of like walk through it you know and uh it really is a testament to the strength of the hardcore and metal community in the tri-state area you know it's like you know pe you know it's like you don't even ask and people show up for you you know and that's what we do and like you know we it's we always see the same people the same things everyone's at the same shows and like you know it's like and it's from you know all the way up at the top of the, of the pyramid to the bottom and everybody knows each other and like it's just uh it's a one-of-a-kind place you know i've lived all all over the the country and you know no matter how long i'm away from new york i come back here and uh, it's still home and uh, this is the way that it is and you know i have a lot of pride being from from new york and and being an east coaster and that's something that represented throughout the years of, of being in bands in la and like and this is why you know this is real this is the real shit there's no glamour there's no bullshit it's not like you know we're fucking hanging out and with porn stars and fucking doing drugs and bullshit the whole this this whole scene is like because people love this music and they support it and it's like i'm i don't really have the words to express the the depth of gratitude i have for for where i come from and for you know what the scene means to me i mean I've, I've been playing shows since i was 13 years old in, in the hardcore and metal scene in new york and uh and i just uh i i don't know i just i can't it just still doesn't even feel real you know it still doesn't even feel real it's uh and it's amazing because it's the opposite you know like when i was in the hospital and they were like and i did just come out of surgery it didn't feel real but in a negative way it was like a, a bad nightmare but this shit i keep feeling like i'm gonna wake up from a dream at this point you know and it's just like it really is like the it's it's like the love and the passion for the music and the community is a foundation it's something that's it, i mean it's why i do this it's just why i do it and it's not just here it's like you know you get there's crews like this all over the world you know i've been to australia and like you guys got crews like that and and, and like hardcore bands and underground metal bands and death metal bands out there and like in europe and you know playing with bands from france and germany and you know and and uh, even even some bands in california and like the orange county scene in la and um the bay area and Texas and has a great scene in Boston, you know, they those are our cousins, you know, the mass the Massachusetts scene and it's just uh you know, this is just we do things a certain way, you know, being from a certain kind of culture and uh I you know, you don't like without even asking like people just this is what they do, this is what they're about and like I just feel very blessed, you know, to to have you know, just even have the people show up and care. Let alone like give their hard earned money and that we're in a recession you know to help me like who the fuck am i <laughs> you know it's 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 surreal it's surreal so yeah I don't know. i'm rambling i think that no i think the message is very positive because we what we the reason why i wanted to talk to you because i want people out there who as you said how i met you in australia or in europe and this and that that know that you're standing strong and you know you're recovering but your recovery process is going well because you yourself took it too hard to be like all right now i gotta recover this happened to me and it's gonna be about like oh this happened to me come help me but no everybody came because they realized that you're a style and you're gonna be doing this for a long time and i know you've been working on a little something something with yeah. that coil yeah. from i mean you're one of your best i mean your best friend one of my best friends and one of the guys who's also been representing hard with god forbid ever since they came out i remember when i had a fucking mini this back in like 95 one of the bands in there was god forbid and then yeah. obviously years later here i am like i know doc very well so he's one of those cats that also doesn't just disappear but tell us a little bit about that project 
Um, well, ba- you know, basically, uh, Doc and I have been friends for little, almost about eight or nine years now. Very good friends. And, um, you know, we had been, we jammed back when we were younger, like when we were in our early 20s. And well, I think I was 20 when we started jamming together. Um, and we had wrote some songs and nothing really ever came of it. And, you know, obviously, God forbid, went on to become very successful. Um, you know, I moved to California, did did Divine Heresy and whatever. And um, after, after I had... Um, after snot kind of had like dissipated i took some time off from music and uh a lot of people were sending me stuff like all over the place from all over the world like dudes wanted me to sing on tracks and try for their band and it was all cool stuff and like you know doc sent me these tracks and he was like hey i got some stuff that i've been working on and uh I listened to it and I was like, what the fuck? And it just sounded different. It was like, from my ears, it was just something totally, totally different. And, uh, you know, it was uh, it was really cool, you know. And then basically, I was so into it that I moved back to New York. I was living in Venice and, uh, and like, you know, kind of just doing the doing deal, working and, like, chilling in my apartment. I was living by the beach, you know, like, kind of hiding out from the world. And uh, I got, and, like, it's like the calling, the music called me. And I, I came back here. And we started working on the record, and we're going to be actually recording, I think, next week uh, with Christian and Laz from El Nino at their studio in Hoboken. And um, we'll see what happens, you know. I'm really, really psyched. We've been done some pre-production work and uh, at Jupiter 4 Studios, which is uh, Steve Schalk and Ken. Ken used to be in Candiria, and now he's in Fuel, his, uh, his, his and his brother's studio. And, you know, we're just kind of steamrolling with that, and I'm really excited, and it's uh it's different it's it's uh it's it's gonna be really cool i'm really excited for everyone to hear it and hey because i got footage of when you because you were just talking about your new band or project with doc and i actually got like footage of you guys performing that song so we're gonna throw that in between is that is that a sneak peek of what's coming up or that was just a completely different well actually actually the song uh gene gene blank who plays for lords um and doc from god forbid we did an acoustic version of a song called Closure which is a song that I wrote with Lucas Banker that was the last song on the Divine Heresy record entitled Bleed the Fifth and um, it w- it actually you know because because that Divine Heresy record was uh, it was very much like a, it, you know we were talking about it and I it was referred it's been referred to as me as the first melodic death metal record I guess I don't know what that means but you know that it was a song where like there's so so much uh, you know Tim Young is known for his speed and precision and those blast beats and you know Dino's got that right hand and it was all this really heavy stuff and like and I've always been a singer and I was like alright let me like let's do this and uh it's just a song that's very personal very close to me and and um so you know i I, a lot of people were hitting me up online about the show like are you gonna perform are you gonna perform and uh you know so i guess we had to we had to like get it right you know and uh it was cool man it was really a beautiful experience to just get up there and perform for everybody but yeah like what we're doing is gonna be like it's not gonna be uh as heavy uh I, i wouldn't say it's not going to be as fast as Divine Heresy, and as uh, and the parts aren't going to be as complicated as God forbid. I think we're going for like, like more of that like Pantera-ish vibe, or like the songwriting, the classic songwriting structure is almost like um, you know, like the the first couple Machine Head records, um, just like that real like fucking rock, like that like where that metal was like grooving, and you're like yo, you know. And a lot of the influences on this record are actually, a lot of them are not metal, like bands like Porter's Head and Muse and, you know, Deftones, which is kind of on that borderline, and Al- and the new Alice in Chains and stuff, and like, you know, just like, dude, we're just, and I'm listening to a lot of like, you know, um, like old school stuff, like, like um, I don't even know, like Joe Cocker, you know, and like... Is that what you grew up listening to? Yeah, I mean, like, I, you know, my dad was big on the Beatles and, like, you know, I, and, like, so now it's, like, I have a different kind of appreciation, like, being older and um, having listened to and exhausted all areas of ag- aggressive music from, like, death metal, black metal, hardcore metal, metalcore, you know, deathcore, like, it, there's a, bagi- you know, like, pagan swine core, like, whatever the fuck they're calling this shit, it's all fucking the same to me. It's it makes like, us feel kind of old when you see all the different genres that exist today, too. I mean... Back in the day, it was meat and potatoes, and all of a sudden, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Well, I think that... I think it's... Uh, people need g- genres to kind of make what they're doing special, when, like, it doesn't really need to be. It just, it, it just is. It's like, you know, for me, it is what it is. Like, I don't really... 
you know there's like all these different kinds of trees but they're all trees you know fucking rock and roll is rock and roll it's like it's all the same shit you know and uh it's just like each you know what, what happens is like you know you get artists and like each each artist you know if you took a bunch of painters and you gave them like you know a model and they all were different kinds of painters you know you'd have one abstract and you would have one this one that one that, and it's all different expressions of emotion by the artist and because all the artists are different and you know and then i guess is yeah, for me i don't need i don't i look at i choose to look at the similarities as opposed to the differences in things especially in people too you know i like i kind of feel like everybody is the same you know you need food water shelter you know and metal you're good no <laughs> that's how i'm set up tommy thank you very much for doing this okay. and i mean from here on obviously you know new york has your back from here until fucking you know in the next show because we always see each other as you said it's always about the same people oh i know i mean sometimes it's funny because you don't know the person's name but you're like i know you're from the show so it doesn't really matter because in our community it doesn't fucking matter well then and you got shows like this where everyone's like intermingling and like you know i'll be so i wouldn't be surprised if like some side band spin off from all the different bands hanging out with each other tonight and whatever that shit happens all the time so it's cool man it's just it's a cool deal and very i feel very blessed and very privileged to be a part of this and fucking horns of rocks is the shit i thank you guys for like supporting it and you know what I mean? Like we're we're keeping it going. We're just doing we're just doing it. Yeah. Keep rolling. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Thank you, Jay, for the camera work. <laughs>